Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a flat white or a latte using an AeroPress and the Subminimal Nano Firma. Let's get into it. It's super easy to do and it's so cheap. All of this works out to be about $150 to $200, which is very cheap compared to other espresso machines that can cost thousands of dollars. The first thing we'll need is the AeroPress. We'll need the Subminimal Nano Firma. This is the V2. We have links to all of the equipment that we'll be using down in the description. First thing we'll need to do is grind up some coffee. Now I'm going to be using 14 grams of espresso roasted coffee. This coffee has been roasted and it's perfect with milk. So depending on the coffee you want to make, you're going to use different types of coffee. If you want filter coffee, go for a filter roasted coffee. If you want anything for milk, make sure it's roasted for milk. Scales on. Weigh out 14 grams of coffee beans. Have to keep them fresh. Quick spritz of RDT. And on the Commandante, I'm gonna be grinding at six clicks. So this is very fine and perfect for espresso. Make sure you get all the coffee in there. Before brewing with an AeroPress, no matter what you're making, you need to make sure that the lid is going to fit in your cup. Now, while this looks like it might fit into the latte glass, you've actually got these little gaps, which, especially when you're making espresso, uh, coffee's gonna come flying out there, make a huge mess, not a good idea. Also, it's never really a good idea to push down on glass. We are going to be plunging into the origami aroma service as it fits perfectly, so yeah. So, we're gonna set everything up. Currently, there's no filter in. We need one AeroPress filter. I hate getting these filters out. Got it. So straight into the cap, we're going to go ahead and insert our plunger. I'm going to still keep it at the top, but we're going to be brewing inverted, meaning that the plunger's at the bottom, chamber's at the top. Fill that up with our coffee beans, but first we're going to tear it out, make sure we've got the correct amount of coffee. Great, that's coming up as 14 grams. So we've got our ground coffee in here. Now we're gonna add 50 grams of water. I've got this at 98 degrees. We're gonna be pouring it all the way in, 40, 50 grams. And we've started our timer at the exact same time. And we're gonna give it a really good stir. Filter cap on with the filter in it. And I haven't worried about pre-winning, so don't hate me. All right, so we've let that sit. Our timer's come up to a minute. Flip it over real quick, and we're gonna plunge down very hard. Lift it up slowly, and it's coming in at 35.8. So right now, what we have here is we've got a latte glass with a very strong coffee in it, and it's gonna be perfect for what we need. I'm gonna go heat up some milk, and then we're gonna steam it with a subminimal nano firmer. All right, so I've just heated up some milk, guys. I've got this in a little silver milk pitcher, and I'm gonna froth it up. So, sub-minimal nano firmer. Take it out, make sure it's fully submerged, and then we're gonna press the button and spin some milk. Now, to aerate this, what you wanna do is you wanna actually come closer to the center. And then once you've hit the perfect texture, all you gotta do is stop the foam up. Plus here. Okay, that's all done. It's pretty thick, so what I'll do is I'll just spin it around and I'll just knock it to get rid of all those extra air bubbles. Okay, so this is our coffee in our glass and we've got our milk. This is just some general cow's milk that I've got at home. Let's try it. Coming in high. And then to create that contrast. Beautiful. And that's how easy it is to make a latte at home with the AeroPress and the sub-minimal nano firmer. Let's give it a quick taste. Super creamy. Um, in hindsight, I'll use better quality milk next time, but 
as you can see, it's got a really nice body um, and a really nice head of foam on that latte. Guys, if you've got any questions about steaming milk with the nano foamer or brewing uh, espresso on the AeroPress, let me know down in the comments section. But as you can see, I've just done it in front of you. It can be done. So I hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Happy brewing.